Hello guys, Altus Tech here, and welcome to another entry in the Epic Photoshop Basics tutorial series. Today I'm going to be talking about the Magic Wand, which is a fantastically useful tool, really easy to use, and hopefully also easy to learn. Let's go ahead and get started by selecting the Magic Wand tool, which is the fourth tool down the line here, this uh, Magic Wand icon. Go ahead and select that. And let's say that I want to select the entire sky here out of this image. I'm just going to click and as you can see my efforts have failed miserably. Now there's a pretty simple reason to why that happened and it's all due to tolerance. Let me explain what tolerance does. When you use the magic wand to when you click it's going to select one single pixel and the color of that one single pixel, in this case blue. So I have the tolerance set to 5 meaning on top of the blue that I've selected. It's also going to select 5 shades of blue darker and lighter. So if we bump that up to uh, let's say 60 meaning it's going to select 60 shades of blue darker and lighter on top of the one that I've selected already. Just going to click. And as you can see it has worked perfectly. The entire sky has been selected including the bits in between the trees. Now let's talk about contiguous which is right here. Just going to go ahead and select that. And I'm going to try to select the entire sky here again. Click. And as you can see it has not gotten this in between the trees. Now that is because contiguous disallows the magic wand tool from sampling the shades that are cut off by another color, in this case the green by the trees here. Really, really simple uh, fact on that. Uh, I'm not sure why you need to use that, but you might find a reason in the future. Who knows? Go ahead and select that again. You can also manually select areas by holding shift. You'll see a little plus symbol show up next to your cursor. And you can just kind of get in there and uh, manually do it yourself if the magic wand tools miss some bits that you need to have selected really simple to do. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys a really simple uh, effect that you can do with the magic wand tool. I'm just going to go ahead and deselect contiguous here and select the entire sky again. Now what I'm going to do here is add clouds to this image. Really, really simple effect to do. I'm going to go ahead and sample a sky color here, leaving the secondary color at white. I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. I'm going to name that clouds. I'm going to go to Filter, Render, Clouds. And there you go, guys. Really simple to do. Let me go ahead and deselect what I've selected here. And there you have it. Obviously, you could use some touching up around the edges here, but that take way too long for this video. But, you know, you get the idea of this, this effect. It's really easy to do, as you just saw. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is the magic of Photoshop. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found this useful. Make sure to comment, rate, favorite, and subscribe. Also, check out my channel. Uh, there are more tutorials there, also tech videos and reviews. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more.